I was with President Novak from Hungary just a few days ago uh, talking about population collapse. I know it's completely not off topic, but it goes back to the point. This is a cultural issue, not only in the US, you know, the high abortion rates, you know, women not wanting to have kids, even men not wanting to have kids. And, we, you know, we had a very personal discussion, did an interview with her as well, and Stephen, uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen Shaw, uh, who did a documentary on this. Um, and I think this issue will gain more and more traction. Just the, the, the whole approach to having children um, and people thinking it's just already too many, too many people on the planet was not able to have kids. If you have kids, you can't, you know, achieve much in your career. It's either your career or having a family. Um, I think the world is going to wake up to that problem imp impacting the U.S., impacting Europe, impacting Asia. And even you mentioned, not Rwanda, you mentioned Kenya. Even Africa is going to head down that path. And of course, Latin America. So I think it's, it's going to end up being a much bigger issue. Do you think Let's, it's going to be, real quick, do you think it's going to be too late? Like we, it, We're already there. Within this century, it, numbers were insane. There's a reason Elon talks about it all the time. So she launched a foundation and, and she talked to Elon about it as well. He's pre been pretty supportive. Um, within this century... Multiple Asian countries, European countries, Canada. The U.S. has done well because of immigration, but that's not sustainable because yeah. where are you going to get these right. immigrants from? Because Latin America is having that issue. Asia is having that issue. Africa will soon have that issue. Um, within the century, um, countries around the world will have their populations halve. That's dropped by half. And another scary thing is that there's never been a time in history where that was a global problem it happened to the Roman Empire, for example. That was one of the reasons that um, one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that the Roman Empire is no longer here um, at the collapse of the Roman Empire. But there's never been a time in history where that was successfully reversed. Now, President Novak, the reason she, she's getting a lot of traction, she was she did, she probably had performed the best with her country, Hungary. That was one of the worst countries. She improved it by about 30 percent. So there's she, she tested a few strategies, but there's no one strategy that works, which makes it a pretty scary problem. Now, remember when Elon was posting about it all the time? I'm like, why is Elon talking about this? And I ignored it. There's already too many people on the, in the world. And yet it's a complete opposite. Well, I will say population collapse is, is a, a more complicated detriment than people realize. One thing I would I would advocate for right now is reassessment of current human uh, allocation. So we got a lot of people on this planet. but We got a lot of people who aren't as efficient as they can be. The body positivity movement where you got, you know, people gorging themselves and doing these YouTube videos where they just eat endlessly until they get sick. Yeah. You know, there was some woman, I think, in South Korea who ate so much for her live stream, her stomach ruptured and she died. Jesus this man. is inefficient use of human energy. But don't get me wrong, humans are free to do kind of whatever they want, but there's got to be, I don't know, certain limitations if someone's doing this harmful stuff. The The issue with population is that the more people we have, the more specialties we have. Humans are, are brilliant. An individual human can master can master master a task. There was a period on Earth where it was possible for a single human to know everything that humans knew. Population was very, very small. Humans knew very little. Now you're gonna meet you're you're gonna meet a guy and you're like, what do you do? It's like I make the uh, the the paneling for the SpaceX Starship. You're like, just the panels? Yeah, I I do metal fabrication, so I make panels. That's it. That's all you do. Yep. Back in the day, one guy might do everything to make a, a wag. He's a carpenter. Now, one guy makes wire. One guy makes computer chips. One guy makes transistors. One person does these things. In fact, now they're being automated in a lot of ways. Humans, the more we have, the more finite we can have the, the specialties of each individual. To put it simply, it might take 1,000 specialty jobs to make a car. I don't know the exact number. A spaceship might take 10,000 specialty positions because the more science we develop, the more specific an individual task has to be. That means we need dramatically more human beings and population is collapsing. We lose population, we are going to lose technology, and we're going to wonder how we had spaceships in the first place. This is why I think Elon is 100% correct, and I'm a huge fan because he's building spaceships, trying to colonize Mars, working on bringing back free speech, telecommunications, electric cars. I'm like, dang, this guy is doing it all.